All right, guys. Uh, quick update here on the fun wheel here. So, yeah, with the Stompies, I talked to Mo yesterday. Um, he did say that this foam grip tape will uh, break in over time, which I hope it does. Uh, I had my son riding this yesterday, and he's about 120, 125 pounds, and he started to slow down, and the board started beeping a lot uh, because of the foot pad sensor was disengaging, I'm assuming because of his weight and how stiff this foam is, and he ended up nose diving. Luckily, uh, he wasn't going too fast. Just a couple uh, scrapes from some road rash, but nothing terrible but uh you know this this foot pad here i actually like it a lot i like the concave it's super comfortable the uh profile is awesome you could just tell it's it it is a a premium product the foam on this script tape uh definitely needs to be a little softer that or maybe kind of like the uh, one wheel parts uh hex foam grip tape where it's it's individual there's like cutouts so if they did some sort of design here with cutouts that might even improve uh on the flexibility of the pad altogether and the ability of it to put pressure down on their stompy sensor um so yeah um i am gonna keep riding it you know it does make me a little nervous because there's times even when i pull up to say like uh a red light or a stop sign and I got to wait and so, you know, I'll disengage the board and I go to start up and it just doesn't start. I just roll right over to the nose. Um, so yeah, it's hopefully this thing breaks in quick. Another issue I could see possibly with this, uh, foam grip tape is I live in an area where we have pretty cold winters and I like to ride in the winter too. Um, and I would think that this foam is probably going to get even harder under colder conditions, just like anything else. Once it gets freezing, um, or cold, it's, it's going to stiffen up even more, which could create issues for me. So only time will tell. Um, but overall it is a premium product. Uh, the build, the plastic, uh, the honeycomb structure underneath, which gives the support for the the pad itself, um, the iPad or not iPad, but the AirTag holder is an added benefit. It's built right in. The fact that you can see the status bar, I love the fact that as I'm riding, I can see the uh, the uh, oh my gosh, the you'll see the light bar increase as you're getting a little bit faster and you you know that you're you're getting to your top end speed as it crosses from left to right um oh also when i talked to mo and uh, let's see if i can so in my previous video i showed that if i press the left side the blue light on the left engages if i press the right the blue light on the left engages i guess that's how he said mitch designed it I guess there's no standard across VESC right now uh, that they just designed it that way so that when you press on both sides, as long as you see the full blue light, you're, you're squared away. So that's not an issue. That was by design. So that's normal. Um, let's see. Again, I do also like the fact that I could see the CNC box here. Uh, you know, you spend all that money on it. You know, some tech rails would have probably been nice. Uh, so you can see that red box show through. Um, otherwise, though, uh, everything's pretty premium on here. I, I'm at about, I think I'm a little over 100 miles now on this board. Runs great. It's by far my favorite board. Something else my, my son said, which I didn't really get until right now, is when he was riding it, He's like, I'm having a hard time pushing the nose down to accelerate. And I think what that actually is, he's comparing it to the Pint and the GT, where this motor has that much more power that you got to push through it a little bit further to, to, you know, get it going. You know, I haven't had that problem. You know, you push down, it, it accelerates. This thing moves. Um, super easy to set up. Um, great looking board. 
these thunder rails just i i like that i, I believe it's a three degree uh tilt in the front and the back i i love that you know uh Engineers Mo's coming out with the X7 rails, which is a shorter version, like basically a normal length of the X10 uh, rails, which are made for the bigger tire. Um, those look awesome. I believe, uh, don't quote me on this, but if, if I'm remembering correctly, it's a 5% uh, tilt on one end and a 7 on the other. And I mean, you could... You could ride either nose high, nose low. You can make it kind of even so it's equal tilt in the front and the back. Uh, it's however you want to calibrate it, but they they look super awesome. I bet it would be a uh, awesome ride. I'd love the opportunity to ride one and, and, and review it. So maybe I'll get lucky enough to do that in the future here. Um, but yeah, it's it's I love this thing. Uh, with buying their products completely here, it's just plug and play, super easy to put it together. Um, you know, when you get the front box and if I, if I get the opportunity to build another one here, which I do plan on doing, um, I'll probably do a video of putting it all together and it's, it is very simple plug and play. So we'll do that. Uh, I got a garbage truck going behind me here. Wait for that to get a little further away, but yeah, uh, I love this tire. Um, it's it's definitely once you get at speed this you can see the flat patch here in the middle here it just locks you in but then when you get a little bit slower these these sides are nice uh the rubber compound feels nice soft uh, i i really like this tire um the axle carriers are nice and finned which gives you some heat dissipation you got the the three height levels on the thunder rails it just it's an awesome looking uh board here you know, I do have the uh, the bang bumpers from TFL. You can see the uh, CNC box through the handle here too. Um, but uh, let's see, I have their battery. Um, I do wish it had a little bit more range than what it does. Um, I would assume in the future they're going to have a battery pack that's a little bit bigger. That'll give you a little bit more range. I'm, I would assume they're they're going to eventually put some more stuff out. But their battery pack that you're getting, a full back box with LED light and the, the uh, cable that goes up, you really can't beat the price when you look at other ones out there. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really have much more to say at this point. I'm going to keep riding it. I'll keep you guys updated on if this uh, foam grip tape breaks in a little bit better and, and that resolves the issues or uh, maybe I'll have to change out the grip tape or something. But uh, yeah, uh, loving the board. It's my favorite ride right now over the float wheel ADV and the GT, um, GTV, the pint. I, I love this thing. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit more nimble like a, a pint but it has more power than a GT. So you're getting the best of both worlds. It's easy to carry around. You know, that is maybe one of the advantages of their battery, smaller battery pack. You know, when I run to the store and I throw this in a grocery cart uh, to push around, it's, it's easy to pick up. You know, there's not a lot of weight to it. Um, overall, just an awesome board, tons of power, so much fun and uh, really easy to set up. So, Thanks for watching, guys. I, I hope this gives you a little insight into these boards. Um, again, with the, the grip tape, something has to change with that because I wouldn't be comfortable letting my son ride this again, uh, at least until maybe this, this breaks in a lot more and, and maybe it's, it's better then. But a lighter rider is going to struggle with this grip tape out of the box. That's the only knock I have on anything that I got from them so far is the grip tape um the foot pad itself i like the profile i like the concave i like the build super easy plug, plug and play you'll see you have plenty of uh wire here for the plug um so only knock i have is the grip tape so thanks for watching stay safe out there and uh please leave a comment and uh like it's greatly appreciated.